It happened over a year ago, but remains an issue that still generates fresh reactions. The report of the Lagos State Panel of Inquiry and Restitution for Victims of SARS-related Abuse and Other Matters on the Lekki Shooting of October 20, 2020 has once again got Nigerians talking. After two weeks of examining the details, Lagos State authorities released a final verdict on the panel's 32 recommendations in a document released on Tuesday night. Out of the 32 recommendations, the state government accepted 11 rejected one, accepted six others with modifications, while it decided to forward 14 others outside its powers to the federal government for consideration. The position of Lagos State Government is based entirely on the report submitted by the panel itself. The Lagos State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in this Arise News interview explained why the government has rejected items number 24 on the panel's recommendations pointing out what he termed some inconsistencies in the panel submission. They said nine people died and they awarded compensation to only one. Why, if you believe nine people died, why are you not awarding compensation to the other eight people? They also awarded, they also said one Nathaniel Solomon, I think listed, uh, is listed there, they said he died. He was deceased at Lekki Tollgate. It also turns out that Nathaniel Solomon was a witness before them who had a petition in respect of his late brother. So look, an allegation that somebody was murdered is not one to be made lightly. In fact, uh, in, in criminal law jurisprudence, you must prove it beyond reasonable doubt. But where you have these inconsistencies, is Nathaniel Solomon dead or alive? Did one person die at Lekki or did nine people die? Those contradictions and, and, and many more made that particular finding unreliable. But here is a member of the legal team that represented the lucky shooting victims before the panel, suggesting that the rejection of the panel's recommendation by the Lagos state government is just part of efforts by officials to rubbish the attempt by the panel at attaining genuine peace by picking holes in its report. There was a the case of one Solomon Abuta. Solomon Abuta was a young boy that was shot dead on the 20th of October 2020. And his brother, his elder brother, a person of Nathaniel Solomon, came before that panel to give uh, evidence. Now, there was just a typographical error to the fact that Solomon uh, Abuta's name was put on the list of deceased people, the same with uh, Nathaniel uh, Solomon. Now, the question we need to ask is that, having now reconciled the fact that at least Nathaniel Solomon came to give evidence about his younger brother, Abuta Solomon, are we not going to say that uh, Abuta Solomon did not die at all? Ademili, like others who believe that there was a massacre at Lekki on the night, think there is a grand plan to cover up as alleged by the panel. An expert gave evidence to the fact that projectile penetrated the heart of an individual. That is, is sufficient. In fact, it's sufficient in itself to say that there was a, a launching of projectiles by the Nigerian army, particularly uh, live uh, ammunition, as even claimed, as even admitted by the representatives of the Nigerian army on that particular before that panel, a person of Major General Ibrahim Tahu, now Brigadier General, as it just at this moment. So, in its entirety, that expert evidence is, is qualified in itself to debunk the claim that there was no massacre. Nobody from Lagos State Government discredited the panel. When they, in fact, submitted the report on the 15th of November 2021, the governor praised them and thanked them for the job they did. So no, nobody uh, from the Lagos State government, directly or indirectly, has sought to discredit members of the panel. We appreciate the job they did for almost 13 months, putting aside everything to, to, to attend to this. 
whichever side the observer leans in this matter, it is one that is not about to go away yet, even as the authorities aim on exploring more ways to win more converts to each side on the arguments. Those on the opposing side say they will also be exploring other options to get justice and the ultimate peace that the two parties desire. Tokumbo, Oye Arise News, Lagos.